What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka All Fires. Now, not only did Marvel Studios see it fit to give us the entirety of Marvel Phase 5, we covered that in a video I posted before this. I'll make sure to link it at the end. They went one step further and decided that we should see a piece of Marvel Phase 6. And the piece that they revealed is absolutely nuts. Fantastic Four and two Avengers movies almost within a year. We're gonna break down the rest of the slate reveal now, moving into phase six, the dates they have posted, when the films are coming out, when you can expect to see Fantastic Four, when you can expect to see the two Avengers films, and obviously talk a little bit about each as this is getting ridiculously exciting. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we do daily Marvel content at the channel, that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers and reviews, to the occasional internet scoop and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway if you want. Stick around at the end of the video, we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so stopping to take it all in for a second, not only did they reveal a partial phase six slate, but also let us know that that would be wrapping up phase four, five, six in a multiverse saga. But first of all, we're getting two Avengers films in the same calendar year, Avengers King Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars. Now there are a ton of other TV shows and movies for 2025 and 2026 that aren't on this slate reveal. So remember, there's still a lot more to come, but alongside these two Avengers movies, they also revealed the Fantastic Four. Now here are the dates attached to the slate and which movies are coming when. An announced TV show or movie coming on fall 2024. Then November 8th, 2024 is when Fantastic Four will drop. So we are about two years away. Then you've got fall of 2024, winter of 2024, and winter of 2025 with unannounced projects. You then have spring of 2025, you then have spring of 2025, both of those with unannounced projects. Then May 2nd, 2025 will be Avengers King Dynasty. So we are less than three years away from the next Avengers film. There's summer 2025 to come, another summer 2025 film or TV show to come, followed by Avengers sequel on November 7th, coming out 2025, that ends phase six. And as you can see, the six they're bringing in the multiverse saga, same look, same exact font as the Infinity Saga. And we now know where this is all going. Now, obviously fans are gonna know that Secret Wars means that Doom is imminent. And I think it means that because we're getting an Avengers Kang Dynasty film before that, I don't think you have to have one or the other or replace Doom with Kang. And of course, we'll have multiple videos in the coming weeks coming out about all the storylines from the comics, which characters are played. But now we know how this sort of leads up and builds up and we don't have to speculate anymore if it's eventually leading to a Secret Wars film. Now. The most important thing to keep in mind is that when the Rousseau's say over the last couple of weeks as they're promoting Grey Man on the press junket, that they have in mind Secret Wars would be even more ambitious than Infinity Wars. And we know the Rousseau's wrapped a nice typo on the Infinity Saga. I can't help but think, I cannot help but think that they're gonna go ahead and take on these two Avengers films as well, and that there will be some sort of discussion or announcement about that you have to think at this point, Marvel Studios wouldn't want to give it to anybody else and they have a proven track record. So I think they are a clear shoe in to direct these films and hopefully if not a D23 this year, they'll sort of go ahead and let us know that's what's coming. Now that also keeps in mind that Marvel Studios may decide to let the Rousseau's also develop a franchise in a trilogy sense as a lead in to them the same way they did with Captain America. And obviously we know that won't be Captain America with Falcon and the Winter Soldier's Sam Wilson, that already has a director attached. This is going to be maybe a different character, and one can only hope that Marvel Studios has decided that they will bring in the X-Men before this saga is over, the mutants as well, and maybe the Rousseau's can do a lead up with something like a Wolverine character, or maybe even an X-Men franchise to lead into this so that there's some sort of continuity of tone. And it's the Rousseau's tone that's sort of very serious, solemn, but also nicely marked with comedic relief that does not undercut it immediately, which, you know, I think has become part for the course here for Marvel Studios. And like I said, that's why I'm not so highly anticipating Deadpool 3, because he's just gonna go ahead and make fun of everything in a sense where Marvel Studios hasn't really pulled it together in phase four willing to make fun of. I'm surely hoping they go back to someone tried and true for that, 
and I can't wait to see who they're going to announce for the director on the Fantastic Four and the upcoming Avengers, as well as castings and what those lineups are going to look like by now. Now, we obviously know that Kang is set to be the villain in the upcoming Quantumania film, and there's going to be a lot of Kang going past that. He is a multiverse villain that exists across the multiverse, and in some cases, across time. So I would anticipate we're going to continue to see him in future projects past Loki 2 showing up again and again and maybe even in the animated series as well to sort of punctuate how much the multiverse saga is different in so many different places but also then to eventually have Kane cross over for these major crossover Avengers films. And as we've covered all the rumors and theories about Doctor Doom and the upcoming Wakanda Forever, plus all of the Doctor Doom Easter eggs that have been sowed in just the last two years, there are multiple, multiple Doctor Doom Easter eggs already. You feel like these castings have to be imminent, but I sort of like the fact that even though it's that far out, Marvel Studios went ahead and gave us a look, not only at the films, the logos and the release dates, but where this is all leading and how. And I would anticipate some things may change. The release dates, the logos, etc. But just know now, with confidence and certainty, that we are headstrong into two Avengers films in the same year in 2025 to end phase six as the multiverse saga. And I, for one, am more hype than ever. Guys, let me know all your thoughts and reactions down below. What do you think these Avengers lineups are going to look like? We are going to have several videos coming on this. And are you going to be okay with the fact that? If Kang is still lingering around in Secret Wars, if it's both Kang and Doom, where I think very naturally it should just mostly be Doom. Who knows how they're going to work all this out? Guys, let me know all your thoughts, reaction, and comments down below quickly. Let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're still giving away PlayStation 5s every 20,000 subscribers all the way up to a million. All you have to do, hit the subscribe button and then leave a comment down below. Because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos, the same way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you liked today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name's Michael Roman. You can find me a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter, at I Am Fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music under the name All Fire. Speaking of which, if you're hearing this video anytime in the future, check the comments for a link below. If there's a link in the description in the comments, it means I'm still in a competition and I need your guys' help. It's basically based on public voting and there's a link there. All you have to do is click. You can register with a Facebook account, vote for free and vote every day. You're gonna help me win an amazing opening show to relaunch my band on the road, All Fires, something I've been grinding since the pandemic started. It is just a sincere plea. You don't have to do it, no worries at all. Subscribe to the channel and leave a like if you liked this video. If you don't, you don't have to do that either. Do whatever you wanna do. I'm still gonna love you. In the meantime, thanks for checking this video out. Stay patient as I try to push out these Easter egg videos for Wakanda Forever and the She-Hulk trailer. I love you guys, peace.